Hello guys, welcome to my channel Mr. Jefferson 105. On today's video, I'm going to teach you how to change the PEI sheet for your Prusa MK2S, which helps with adhesion for your 3D printed part. I hope you find it useful. Let's have a look. Okay guys, we're going to show you the security that you need to have before changing the polytheramide or PEI sheet. To begin with, these two signs show that we need to be careful as we are going to carry out this procedure while the heated bed is on. Following this, you can see all the damage that my extruder has caused to the middle of the bed. Therefore, it needs changing. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to select the temperature to start removing the sheet as shown here. Now, the first thing, go to settings and select the temperature for the bed to be between around 100 and 105 celsius. Once you have selected the temperature, just exit the menu. Now we can see that the heated bed is reaching the temperature that we stated. You can hold the PCB in one hand and the sheet on the other and start pulling it off carefully. The slower you peel it off, the less residue it will leave behind, therefore less cleaning to do. Later we're going to clean the leftover glue with acetone. Now you can see all the residue left behind. The acetone that we're going to use is 99.5% pure. I use the cup of the bottle to add around 10mm to clean it off. Add more as necessary to remove it all. You will find that as you add the acetone, the glue will become like a jelly. As you can see on my finger, this is the jelly-like form once the acetone has been added. Once you have removed it all and it is fully clean, we are ready to add the new PEI sheet to the bed. The heated bed is now fully clean to the best possible. It took me around 10 minutes. At this moment in time, you will need to turn off the temperature of the bed to carry out the last stage of this procedure. Now we are going to add the PEI sheet. Peel the protecting film from one of the corners, then align it to the bed and make sure that the sheet starts at the same place that the previous one did, just below the 250 number. Make sure you get a gap at the bottom of the film as shown here. Once you have done all this, with the help of a plastic card and a cleaning cloth, as this material is soft and won't cause any harm to the surface while applying pressure. Now align it carefully, as you only get one chance, because the glue is very strong. I have now touched around 10% of it with the car behind the cloth and it slowly applied pressure while peeling the film off. The trick is doing it slowly to get all the bubbles out. Once you have stuck the sheet to the bed, as you can see here, we have a lip that needs to be cut as this can crash into the frame. Now I have taken almost all of it off. Finally, the last thing to do is to pass the card with a cloth or without it several times on the surface of the bed to ensure that the glue has adhered properly to the PCB surface. I advise you to check all the corners and the sides before switching the printer back on. Now I'm going to do a print test. You will have to level the set axis and do a self-test to ensure that everything is working as it should be. 
just in case you might have moved any components by accident. The advantage of changing the PEI this way is that you won't have to move the printer or take the printer apart to do so, which I think is beneficial. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope it was also useful for you. See you around. Bye.